hey guys thank you for tuning in to my uh, video so I don't know if you guys do know so the reason I made this video is so that I could study and at the same time probably help you guys out since I couldn't find a study guide for prep wear on social media I decided to make my own so that said um, don't forget guys also subscribe this one so you guys do not um, miss or forget my channel and you guys can continue studying uh, all the subjects so that you guys can pass your general test and that said we are right now on general prep wear and this one is subject uh, ground operations and servicing it's uh, 41 questions so I'm basically gonna click on it ground operation and servicing 41 questions enlist 12 items Oh, and don't forget, I'm also Tap gonna, to activate. I'm also gonna have my assistant uh, read the questions for me and also answer them. So you guys don't, if you guys don't, if you guys want to, you guys can read it. But if you guys don't want to, you guys can just hear it, and you guys can just, uh, you know, try to find the answer that you guys can before I answer it. So that said, uh, let's begin. And if at any point you guys do also feel that I'm going too slow. You guys can always fast forward. If I'm going too fast, you guys can pause it. So let's begin. Question one of 41. When approaching the front of an idling jet engine, the hazard area extends forward of the engine approximately. Not selected, 25 feet, radio button. Selected, EXPL. It is extremely dangerous to approach an operating turbojet engine from either ahead or behind. The hazard area extends out ahead of an idling turbojet engine for about 25 feet. Okay, but Next button. Question 2 of 41. How is a flooded engine, equipped with a flow-type carburetor, cleared of excessive fuel? Not selected, crank the engine with the starter or by hand, with the mixture control and cut off, ignition switch off, and the throttle fully open, until the fuel charge has been cleared, radio button. Selected. EXPL. A flooded reciprocating engine can be cleared of excessive fuel by placing the mixture control in the cutoff position to shut off all flow of fuel to the cylinders. Turn the ignition off, open the throttle and crank the engine with the starter or by hand until the fuel charge in the cylinders has been cleared. Okay. Next. Question 3 of 41. What must accompany fuel vaporization? Not selected, an absorption of heat, radio button. Selected. EXPL. When fuel changes from a liquid into a vapor, it absorbs heat from the surrounding air. This absorption of heat drops the temperature of the air enough that moisture can condense out and freeze. This is the main cause of carburetor ice. Reference. Okay. Next button. Question 4 of 41. A hum start in a jet engine is often caused by. Not selected. The starter cutting off too soon. Radio button. Selected. EXPL. A hung or false start is often the result of insufficient power to the starter or the starter cutting off before the engine reaches its self accelerating speed. Reference, AMTG Chapter 10. Okay. Next. Question 5 of 41. How are aviation fuels, which possess greater anti-knock qualities than 100 octane, classified? Not selected, by performance numbers, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Aviation fuel whose anti-tonation characteristics are better than those of the reference fuel, 100 octane, are rated in performance numbers. Okay. Next. Question 6 of 41. When starting and ground operating an aircraft's engine, the aircraft should be positioned to head into the wind primarily. Not selected, for engine cooling purposes, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Position the aircraft to head into the prevailing wind to ensure adequate airflow over the engine for cooling purposes. Okay. Next. Question 7 of 41. If a radial engine has been shut down for more than 30 minutes, the propeller should be rotated through at least two revolutions to 
Not selected. Check for hydraulic lock brake. Selected. EXPL. A radial engine that has been shut down for some time should be turned through by hand for at least two revolutions to check for a hydraulic lock. Okay, button. A radial engine that has been shut down for some time should be turned through by hand for at least two revolutions to check for a hydraulic lock. A hydraulic lock is a condition in a reciprocating engine in which oil has leaked past the piston rings into a cylinder below the center of the engine. If the engine fires when there is oil in any of its cylinders, it will sustain major structural damage. Okay. Next. Question 8 of 41. Characteristics of detonation are. Not selected, rapid rise in cylinder pressure, cylinder head temperature normal, and a decrease in engine power, radio button. Selected. Not selected, rapid rise in cylinder pressure, excessive cylinder head temperature, and a decrease in engine power, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Detonation is an uncontrolled burning, or explosion, of the fuel-air mixture within the cylinder of a reciprocating engine. The fuel-air mixture ignites and burns normally. But as it burns, it compresses and heats the mixture ahead of the flame front. When the heated and compressed mixture reaches its critical pressure and temperature, it releases its energy almost instantaneously, it explodes. It is the explosions inside the cylinder that cause the cylinder head temperature to go up, the cylinder pressure to go up, and the engine power to decrease. Okay. Next. Question 9 of 41. The priming of a fuel-injected horizontally opposed engine is accomplished by placing the fuel control lever in the Not selected, idle cutoff position, radio button Selected Not selected, full rich position, radio button Selected EXPL When starting a horizontally opposed aircraft engine equipped with a fuel injection system, prime the engine by placing the mixture control in the full rich position and turning on the fuel boost pump until there is an indication of fuel flow on the flow meter. After some fuel has flowed through the injector nozzles, the mixture control is returned to the idle cutoff position and the engine is started. As soon as the engine starts, the mixture control is again placed in the full rich position. Reference, AMTG Chapter 10. Okay. Next. Question 10 of 41. The most important condition to be monitored during start after fuel flow begins in a turbine engine is the not selected, EGT, TIT, or ITT, radio button. Select EXP. When starting a turbine engine, the most critical instrument to watch after the fuel flow begins is the EGT, TIT, or ITT to be sure that the engine lights off properly and the temperature does not rise above its allowable limits. Okay. Next. Question 11 of 41. When towing a large aircraft. Not selected. A person should be in the cockpit to operate the brakes. Radio button. Selected. EXPL. When a large aircraft is being towed, there should be a person in the cockpit to operate the brakes in the event of an emergency. Okay. Next. Question 12 of 41. Which of the following is the most satisfactory extinguishing agent for use on a carburetor or intake fire? Not selected, carbon dioxide, radio button. Selected, EXPL. Carbon dioxide, CO2, is the most satisfactory fire extinguishing agent to use for putting out an induction system fire in an aircraft engine. CO2 does not damage the engine, and it does not leave any residue to clean up. Okay. Next. Question 13 of 41. When taxiing an airplane with a quartering tailwind, the elevator's in. Not selected, upwind aileron should be held in the down position, radio button. Selected. EXPL. When taxiing with a quartering tailwind, the elevator should be held in the down position, and the upwind aileron, down. Since the wind is striking the airplane from behind, these control positions reduce the tendency of the wind to get under the tail and the wing and to nose the airplane over. Okay. Next. Question 14 of 41. Why is ethylene dibromide added to aviation gasoline? Not selected to remove zinc silicate deposits from the spark plugs, radio button. Not selected to scavenge lead oxide from the cylinder combustion chambers, radio button. Selected. EXP 
In tetraethylet is added to aviation gasoline to improve its antitonation characteristics to raise its critical pressure and temperature, but deposits left inside the cylinders from the tetraethyl lead foul spark plugs and cause corrosion. In order to get rid of the residue from the tetraethyl lead, ethylene dibromide is mixed with the gasoline. When the gasoline burns, the ethylene dibromide combines with the lead and forms volatile lead bromides that go out the exhaust and do not form solid contaminants inside the cylinder. Okay. Next. What effect? Question 15 of 41. What effect, if any, will aviation gasoline mixed with jet fuel have on a turbine engine? Not selected, the tetraethyl lead in the gasoline forms deposits on the turbine blades, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Many aviation gas turbine engine manufacturers allow the use of some aviation gasoline as a fuel when turbine fuel is not available. The manufacturer limits the amount of time aviation gasoline can be used for two reasons. One, the tetraethyl lead in the aviation gasoline causes deposits to form on the turbine blades. Two, aviation gasoline does not have the lubricating properties of kerosene. Using too much gasoline can cause excessive wear on the fuel control. Reference, AMTG Chapter 10. Okay. Next. Question 16 of 41. When first starting to move an aircraft while taxiing, it is important to Not selected, test the brakes, radio button. Selected. EXPL. When first starting to taxi an airplane, test the brakes for proper operation. If braking action is unsatisfactory, the engine should be shut down immediately. Okay. Next button. Question 17 of 41. Which statements is, are true regarding tie-down of small aircraft? 1. Manila, hemp, rope has a tendency to stretch when it gets wet. 2. Nylon or Dacron rope is preferred to Manila rope. 3. The aircraft should be headed downwind in order to eliminate or minimize wing lift. 4. Leave the nose wheel or tail wheel unlocked. Not selected, 2, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Manila, hemp, rope has the tendency to shrink, not stretch, when it gets wet. Nylon and Dacron rope are both superior to Manila because they are stronger, and neither of them shrink when they are wet. The airplanes should be pointed as nearly into the wind as practicable and the tail wheel or nose wheel should be locked in their straight-ahead position to prevent the wind from slewing the aircraft around. Okay, but... Next... Question 18 of 41. Tetraethyl lead is added to aviation gasoline to Not selected, retard the formation of corrosives, radio button. Not selected, improve the gasoline's performance in the engine, radio button. Selected. EXP. Tetraethyl lead is added to aviation gasoline to increase its critical pressure and temperature. The higher critical pressure and temperature allow the engine to operate with higher cylinder pressures without the fuel-air mixture detonating. Reference, AMTG Chapter 10. Okay. Next. Question 19 of 41. The color of 100LL fuel is... Not selected, blue, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Low lead 100 octane aviation gasoline is dyed blue. Turbine fuel is normally colorless or straw colored. Grade 80 aviation gasoline is dyed red. Re okay. Next. Question 20 of 41. Weather banning tendency is greatest when taxiing. Not selected, both nose wheel and tail wheel type airplanes in a quartering tailwind, radio button. Tap to toggle. Not selected, a tail wheel type airplane in a direct crosswind, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Weather banning tendency is more prevalent in the tailwheel type because the airplane's surface area behind the main landing gear is greater than in nosewheel type airplanes. The tendency of a tailwheel type airplane to weather vane is greatest while taxiing directly crosswind. It is difficult to prevent the airplane from turning into any wind of considerable velocity since the airplane's rudder capability may be inadequate to counteract the crosswind. Okay. Next. Question 21 of 41. Jet fuel number identifiers are Not selected, type numbers and have no relation to the fuel's performance in the aircraft engine, radio button Selected EXPL 
Jet engine fuel identification numbers JP4, JP5, Jet A, Jet A1, and Jet B are identification numbers only and do not relate in any way to the performance of the fuel in the engine. Reference AMTG Chapter 10. Okay. Next. Question 22 of 41. When stopping a nose wheel type airplane after taxiing or towing, the nose wheel should be left. Not selected, pointed straight ahead, radio button. Selected. EXPL. When stopping an airplane that is equipped with a nose wheel, the nose wheel should be left straight ahead to relieve any strain on the nose gear and to make it easier to start moving straight ahead. Okay. Next. Question 23 of 41. If a hot start occurs during starting of a turbine power plant, what is the likely cause? Not selected, the fuel, air mixture was excessively rich, radio button. Selected. EXPL. The hot start of a turbojet engine is one in which the engine starts normally but the exhaust gas temperature exceeds its allowable limits. Hot starts are usually caused by too rich a fuel air mixture. There was too much fuel for the amount of air being moved through the engine by the compressor. Okay. Next. Question 24 of 41. When taxiing, or towing, an aircraft, an alternating red and green light from the control tower means. Not selected, OK to proceed but use extreme caution, radio button. Selected. EXPL. The meanings of the light signals that are used by control towers to control the operation of aircraft on the ground are. Steady red, stop. Flashing red, taxi clear of the runway or taxiway. Steady green, OK to taxi. Alternating red and green, OK to taxi, but exercise extreme caution. Flashing white, return to starting point. OK. Next. Question 25 of 41. A fuel that vaporizes too readily may cause. Not selected, hard starting, radio button. Not selected, detonation, radio. Select. Not selected, hard starting, radio button. Selected. Not selected, vapor lock, radio button. Selected. EXPL. If a fuel vaporizes too readily, it has a high vapor pressure. It requires a high pressure to keep the vapors in the fuel. Vapors that form in a fuel line can prevent liquid fuel flowing through the line and can stop the engine because of fuel exhaustion. This is a vapor lock. Okay. Next. Question 26 of 41. A fuel that does not vaporize readily enough can cause... Not selected, hard starting, radio button. Selected. EXPL. An ideal fuel for an aircraft reciprocating engine must vaporize change from a liquid into a vapor, easily, yet it must not vaporize so easily that it will form vapor locks in the fuel system. Liquid fuel will not burn, so for it to burn, it must be changed into a fuel vapor. If the fuel does not vaporize readily enough, it will cause the engine to be hard to start. Okay. Next. Question 27 of 41. A person should approach or leave a helicopter in the pilot's field of vision whenever the engine is running in order to avoid. Not selected, the... Selected. Not selected, the tail rotor, radio button. So, EXPL. When approaching or leaving a helicopter whose engine is running, you should remain within the pilot's field of vision to avoid an encounter with the tail rotor. Okay. Next. Question 29 of 41. Previous but. Question 28 of 41. And if an engine fire develops during the starting procedures, the first step you should take in extinguishing the fire is. Not selected. Continue cranking to start the engine and blow out the fire. Radi selected. EXPL. If an engine fire develops during the starting procedure, continue cranking to start the engine and blow out the fire. If the engine does not start and the fire continues to burn, discontinue the start attempt. The fire guard should extinguish the fire using the available equipment. Re okay. Next, but. Question 29 of 41. Refer to figure 50. Identify the signal to engage rotor on a rotor graft. View figures button. View 
figures, navig... Not selected, three, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Signal one means to start the engine. Signal two means to stop the rotor. Signal three means to engage the rotor. Refer... Okay. Next. Question 30 of 41. 1. Jet fuel is of higher viscosity than aviation gasoline and therefore holds contaminants better. 2. Viscosity has no relation to contamination of fuel. Regarding the above statements. Not selected, only number 1 is true. Selected. EXPL. Statement 1 is true. Jet fuel has a higher viscosity than gasoline and it holds contaminants more readily, better, than gasoline. Statement 2 is not true. Viscosity does have a great deal to do with the fact that jet fuel holds more contaminants than gasoline. The higher the viscosity, the fewer contaminants will settle out of the fuel. Okay. Next. Question 31 of 41. When approaching the rear of an idling turbojet or turbofan engine, the hazard area extends aft of the engine approximately. Not selected, 100 feet. Selected. EXPL. The hazard area extends aft of an idling turbojet or turbofan engine for approximately 100 feet. Okay. Next. Question 32 of 41. Characteristics of aviation gasoline are Not selected, high heat value, high volatility, radio button. Selected. EXP Aviation gasoline is suitable as a fuel for reciprocating engines because it has a high heat value, nominally 20,000 BTU per pound, and a high volatility. It readily changes from a liquid into a vapor so that it can be burned. Re okay. Next. Question 33 of 41. When taxiing, or towing, an aircraft, a flashing white light from the control tower means. Not selected, return to starting point. So EXPL, but the meanings of the light signals that are used by control towers to control the operation of aircraft on the ground are Steady red, stop. Flashing red, taxi clear of the runway or taxiway. Steady green, OK to taxi. Alternating red and green, OK to taxi, but exercise extreme caution. Flashing white, return to starting point. OK. Next, but Question 34 of 41. Refer to figure 51. Which marshalling signal should be given if a taxiing aircraft is in imminent danger of striking an object? View figures button. View figures, navigate up. View, View figures, navigate up. Not selected, 3, radio button. Selected. EXPL. Signal 1 means to stop. Signal 2 means to come ahead. Signal 3 calls for an emergency stop. If the aircraft is in imminent danger of striking an object, the signal shown in 3 should be used. Okay. Next. Question 35 of 41. Both gasoline and kerosene have certain advantages for use as turbine fuel. Which statement is true in reference to the advantages of each? Not selected, kerosene has a higher heat energy, value per unit fault. Selected. EXPL. Gasoline has a higher heat energy per pound than kerosene, nominally 20,000 BTU per pound for gasoline versus about 18,500 BTU per pound for kerosene. Kerosene, however, weighs more than gasoline, about 6.7 pounds per gallon for kerosene compared with about 6.0 pounds per gallon for gasoline. Because there are more pounds of kerosene per gallon, there are more B2s in a gallon of kerosene than in a gallon of gasoline. Note, ASA prefers to adopt the scientific, technical spelling of kerosene. Okay. Next. Question 36 of 41. Generally, when an induction fire occurs during starting of a reciprocating engine, the first course of action should be to Not selected, continue cranking and start the engine if possible, radio Selected, EXPL If an induction system fire occurs when starting a reciprocating engine, the best procedure is to continue cranking and start the engine if possible. When the engine starts, the air flowing into the engine will extinguish the fire. Okay. Next. Question 37 of 41. Which statement below reflects a typical requirement when towing some aircraft?
not selected, if the aircraft has a steerable nose wheel, the torque link lock should be set to full swivel, radio button. Selected. EXPL. When towing a tricycle gear airplane, the nose wheel torque link lock should either be disconnected or set to full swivel, whichever the aircraft manufacturer recommends. If this is not done, there is a good possibility that the tow bar can turn the nose wheel enough to break the steering stops. Okay. Next. Question 38 of 41. The main differences between grades 100 and 100 LL fuel are Not selected, lead content and color, radio button. Selected. EXPL. The main difference between grades 100 and 100 LL aviation gasoline is the content of tetraethyl lead and the color. Their anti-knock characteristics are the same. Grade 100 is allowed to have a maximum of 3.0 milliliter of telephone per gallon, and it is dyed green. Grade 100 LL is allowed to have a maximum of 2.0 milliliter of telephone per gallon, and it is dyed blue. Okay. Next. Question 39 of 41. When taxiing or towing an aircraft, a flashing red light from the control tower means. Not selected, move clear of the runway, taxiway immediately, radio, select, EX. The meanings of the light signals that are used by control towers to control the operation of aircraft on the ground are Steady red, stop, flashing red, taxi clear of the runway or taxiway Steady green, OK to taxi Alternating red and green, OK to taxi, but exercise extreme caution Flashing white, return to starting point OK Next Question 40 of 41 During starting of a turbine power plant using a compressed air starter, a hung start occurred Select the proper procedure. Not selected, re-engage the starter, radio button. Tap to toggle. Select, not selected, shut the engine down, radio button. Tap to toggle. Not selected, shut off the fuel, radio button. Selected, not selected, shut the engine down, radio button. Selected, EXP. A hung start of a turbojet engine is a start in which the engine lights off as it should, but does not accelerate to a speed that allows it to operate without help from the starter. Anytime a hung start occurs, the engine should be shut down and the cause of the problem found and corrected. Reference, AMTG Chapter 10. Okay. Next. Question 41 of 41. In which of the following conditions has the most potential for causing engine damage when starting or attempting to start a turbine engine? Not selected, hot start, radio button. Selected, EXPL. A hot start is one in which the exhaust gas temperature, EGT, or turbine inlet temperature, TIT, rises above its allowable limit. An engine can be seriously damaged by a hot start. Rep, okay. Stop button. More options button. Exit quiz, enlist three items. 